Now, time to take our virtual tour of Waterford Treasures in the good company of Eamon McEnany, who should be connecting now on our tie line oh, situation can hear on our him? app this yeah. morning. Good Hello morning, there, Eamon. Eamon. Good morning, Mary. Good morning, Ollie. Good morning, yes. listeners. I'm great. Thank you. And you? Uh, good, good. Today you're going to talk about the leper hospital in Waterford, right? I, I am indeed, yeah. And we have, a, we have a statue up there now, posted, I'm sure, shortly, of, of St. Stephen. It's from the 13th century. It's, it's a small little statue. It's only about two two foot high. It, it, it ended up in the, in the Holy Ghost Hospital, but it's almost 100% certain it came from St. Stephen's Hospital. And Stephen, St. Stephen was the patron saint of leper hospitals and patron saint for lepers. People with leprosy would pray to him. And he's there sitting with, standing with, with a book in one hand showing his knowledge. And the, the other thing he has is what's a, st- what's a stone because he was stoned to death. When I say he was stoned to death, I mean that in the Maybe biblical sense. the first sense. of the martyrs. Yeah. 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 And of course, that's why his feast day is, is, um, St. Stephen's Day is uh, the mm. first day after Christmas Day. It's the first saint of the, of the, the Christian church. Um, the hospital w- was built in 1185 by a man called Robert Le Poire, and he was, of course, Powers of Watford. He, the, the, they're all descended from the, this man or some branch of that man's family. And he was a, an, an Anglo-Norman who came over here with the invasion. And um, he endowed it with 800 acres of land. And a, at the time, of course, remember, the city was only the little Viking triangle. The hospital is situated in the junction between New Street and Stephen Street. Of course, that's where the street gets its name. Mm. The Church of St. Stephen that was part of the hospital. And um, when King John came... Came here in in 1210. He he gave it another um, 900 acres of land, and a lot of that was up John's Hill, and that's that's important to the story later on. Then, so um, well, well, can I ask Eamon, what was the idea behind the the huge land bequeath? Like you had 800 acres there. And you see, in those days, there. now they did have taxation systems, but but they didn't have like huge civil service. So if, if you endowed a university or a hospital or a church, even for mm. that matter, you gave it land, and so you said to them then that, the it? tenants of that ah. that paid paid a rent, and then right. that's that's what and and that became a controversial later on but like the hospital there was always there was leprosy in Ireland obviously before the Normans came here but of course with the with the um, the Crusades in around this time 1090s onwards the Crusades of course were going up to the Holy Land they were bringing back leprosy too that we read about in, in the in the Bible but th- there was leprosy in Ireland probably before that I mean if you go to see old churches you see medieval churches they all have this thing called a leper squint or some of yeah. the big ones have and, and that was really I'd say for, for probably well to do people who got leprosy or the senior clergy who would, uh, they wouldn't just allow, I'm sure, ordinary people in there. He, ba- basically, the reason it was built what was then outside the town walls, but inside the town walls later on, was because, of course, you were keeping these people away from the o- ordinary people. And, mm. um, you know, it was, a, it was a horrible disease, and mm. we were giving out about a virus now. But unclean, the, people, as you yeah, ring yeah, unclean, people yeah, people have to ring, ring their bells. bell, yeah, yeah. yeah. They were horrible, and Awful. Their, your limbs fell off and everything. It must have been a hor- horrendous thing for people. But interestingly, then, they, by the time of the Reformation, it's starting to die out at the end of the Middle Ages. But there's still, according to, to one written report, there were still five people there in, in the 1670s but the church at this stage had fallen down because of course the Reformation had happened and all the, the Roman Catholic churches had been turbulent taken over. Times. But yes, there were turbulent times. One report in 1661 when Charles I is brought back on the throne, this is after the Cromwellian period he talks about people have taken away the tombstones and used them for paving <laughs> so Gosh, they were imagine. recycling and, and the roof had fallen in on the church because they were getting that income then from the land and of course the piece of land that we're talking about and um, that that Robert Lepore gave him is you, you know when you go between Waterford and Dunmore East you yeah. place yeah. called Leperstown and that's oh. why it's oh, called right, Leperstown because it was the land given to the leper hospital so no it's, way. Uh, it's really interesting. Yeah, when John gave him the land he gave him land up around Bally Truck and John's Hill and then in the 18th century a, a very decent Church of Ireland clergyman said hold on a minute now if you have all these lands what is the what is Waterford Council doing with all this money mm. and, and there was some sort of a horrible temporary hospital sort of built and there was about 40 beds in it but an inspection at the time said it was horrendous and this clergyman kind of basically brought the council to court and said listen you've got all these these this land mm. all over the place and you're getting rents from tenants where's the and money of course, going yeah, where's the money going? And that's what built the county and city infirmary. And of course, why it's up there is because that's the land where it's positioned in John's Hill. That's the land that King John gave to the leper hospital back in 1210. Talk about connections. Yeah, and of course, John Roberts um, was designed the leper hospital then, of course, our great architect. So there's a nice kind of continuous story there. Uh, and we know that a lot of the, when the John's Hill Hospital then was closed, when the county and city infirmary, that was still endowed w- with lands and properties. And a lot of that money then went to the present um, hospital, uh, what we call it, the Waterford University Hospital. And to, uh, a lot of money was spent, I think, there on the oncology department from that. that it's endowment. all very timely that you're talking about that, given the news over the weekend that the National 
National Maternity Hospital, the lands, the Sisters of Charity uh, received yeah. Vatican approval for the transfer of ownership uh, of their lands to St. Vincent's mm. Hospital. It all kind of ties yeah. in. It given does, that all we just tells, found, it does that, all found that out yeah. the other day. Interesting stuff, Eamon. As always, yeah. that'll go online and we'll chat to you tomorrow. Yeah. Thank you Great. so much. Thanks, Thanks Eamon. Talk Thanks, Eamon. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. 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 That's Eamon McEnany of Water